Hey what's going on guys, my name is Silent Core and this is one of the development blogs that's just been posted on Twitter and uh, I've been Twitter stalking RuneScape recently and uh, they've just posted this and it's just about the update that should be happening this week and I'm not actually sure if this update is going to be the update that happens when the, the timer runs out which uh, was posted up in the forums I think a few days ago uh, the thread was called See the Future and it had a, a little countdown that said spread the word and then, then three locations, the Grand Exchange, Cather Bay and Ardy. And I don't know if though this is going to be the rune span rune crafting update that was mentioned at RuneFest. I thought I'd also let you guys know that RuneScape Legendary Glitches is usually up on a Friday but it's not going to be up till probably the really early hours of the morning so I'm not going to be able to link you guys to it until tomorrow. But to make up for that, I've got this video and another bonus top 10 close calls that should be uploaded later tonight. So I guess if you like to watch videos, look out for that one later. So I also found a whole bunch of pictures from the update, uh, I guess kind of teaser images. And uh, the first three are from the forums, and uh, there was loads of people really excited about this update. I guess people that want to train room crafting. And uh, re after reading the development blog, it's really obvious that this update is going to be a big update to room crafting. I mean, this this is going to expect it to be better rune crafting experience in the ZMI altar. Which, I mean, people like me who are already 99 rune crafting, I guess, doesn't affect me too much, but um, you guys that are really looking to get that skill maxed and are just sort of using on effigies and things like that on it, I mean, this could be a really efficient way to train that skill. And it might even overtake Slayer, making Slayer the most slow skill in the game, and we'll all be using effigies in that instead. So let's take a look at the first picture. If you look closely there, you can see sort of, uh, I guess, sort of teleportation pads or some sort of uh, rune orb thing and uh, there's three little symbols on it and I think uh, the, that one really looks like the cosmic one and I think that the star is the astral um, I'm not really sure what the other one is, maybe a body rune or something like that and there's also a really weird monster in the background there I'm really not sure what he's going to be, what his purpose in this will be but in the second one you'll see a player, he's sort of navigating between the islands and I first of all thought this was a clan citadel update just because of the way the way the whole area is set out, I mean, it looks like floating things in the sky. I thought it was maybe a another batch update for the citadels, but um, after noticing the rune symbols, it's pretty much definitely going to be the rune crafting update. So I think on this one, it's uh, nature, water, and I think that could be an earth symbol. I, I don't know. And the third picture that was on the forums, this looks like a pretty basic one. Um, it actually really <laughs> makes me think of a uh, sort of a cross between Crash Bandicoot and uh, Ratchet and Clank graphics. I guess World of Warcraft as well. I've never actually played World of Warcraft, but I saw a lot of people saying that this is really like a uh, an area in World of Warcraft. And uh, you see there, it's just the air rune symbol. I guess this is the the basic area for the low level ele elemental runes. The next three pictures I got off the RuneScape Facebook page, and I'll be saving you guys the dignity of not having to like that page on your personal Facebooks. Uh, I haven't actually liked it either, I just look on it every now and again uh, to get sort of teaser images and things like that. So uh, I'm not really sure what these two symbols are. I think uh, the hollow circle is the, an S symbol, and I don't know what the, the full circle is. I, did, I couldn't see that that symbol on the, the development blog. And here's, I assume, the sort of higher level rune area. There you can see the death rune symbol the blood rune symbol, and I think that's the essence one as well, the, the the circle again. And this looks like another picture in the easy area, you can see there the, the air rune symbol and some sort of tree thing, and I don't know what that character is doing, it looks like she's climbing up it, maybe a, <laughs> transporting to a higher area, or maybe chopping it, I don't know, it looks like she's swinging an axe or some sorts. There was also an extra two images stuck on Twitter, which I'll show you as well. This one, I guess, is some sort of ladder she's climbing up. And uh, this other one is looks like the same air rune basic area that I showed you before. So I guess it is quite an exciting update that will probably come out on Monday or Tuesday. And I thought it was really weird that they'd make a mysterious counter just for this update. I mean, that was already promised ages ago at RuneFest. I mean, why would they have another a, a whole secret counter for it? I, I kind of think that might be for something else unless uh, I'm way off and maybe they did it to distract us. Uh, so I've also been kind of keeping my eye on this thread, and it's called ASA Investigation. It was actually locked by a, a forum mod, and what ASA stands for is Advertising Standards Authority, and they basically kind of uh, regulate or watch over advertisements, sales promotions, and marketing in the U in the UK. And somebody actually reported RuneScape for uh, or to them for um, 
their over advertisement of the the squeals and buying squeals and things like that. And he kind of posted their response to it, and they said they were going to look into the the investigation of RuneScape. And uh, I was I was kind of upset to see that they locked it, so I was really looking forward to seeing what uh, the response being would be. <laughs> I mean, how crazy would that be if RuneScape actually got in trouble by some standards authority for uh, advertising squeals or something like that? Anyways, I hope you guys have a good night. I should be uploading the bonus top 10 episode of Close Calls if you're interested in watching that tonight. See you guys later.